What's going on? Hold on, this is my phone ringing. Let me answer this shit. Hello? What's going on? Yeah, you sent it to the right email. I got it. Man, look, man. I sent it to my family, my sister, man, and my brother. Everybody loved it, man. Yeah, I'm feeling that 100%, man. Uh, well, I'm shooting today, and uh, I'm off tomorrow, too. So, if you want to shoot tomorrow, we can. What's going on? It's your boy Nice. A nice HVAC. I'm going to teach you how to get six figures. And why, why not? You should go to HVAC school. Stay tuned. some type of university associates program something man so what I did was I said hey let me get into the trades so I found the trade school what I did was I went on Google I typed in uh, HVAC trade school near me I looked it up I did the research I found out how much it cost to get in what my grades needed to be that I need to take the SAT ACT whatever I needed to do I did it you know what I'm saying so Fast forward a little bit, I get into school. You know, school is school is a good experience. Some people take advantage of it, some people don't take advantage of it. Uh, out of my class, out of the people who graduated with me, it was probably, I'd say about 30, no, not 30 people, 25 people in my class. And out of my entire class, today, 2021, probably I only know two or three people that's from my class that does HVAC part-time, full-time, anytime. Most people quit after school. But what you have to learn and what you have to figure out is if school is worth it to you. School is just like anything else. You have to make that investment of your time and your money. If you can make the investment of your time and your money, you'll find that success with school. But for people who don't have time and people who don't have money, then you have to find that middle ground and you have to put in that hard work. That hard work is what's going to take you from nothing to HVAC technician. So if you don't put in the hard work, you won't be an HVAC technician. If you don't go to school, if you don't study, you won't get the diploma, right? So just make sure that you stay on the right path, whichever path you choose, whether it goes school or not school, at the end of the day, what's your mission? To get your EPA, get your license, and start doing HVAC. All right, bet y'all, we had to switch it up, man. I'm, I'm keeping it all the way 100 with y'all because I want y'all to watch me from day one, the growth. See, I ain't changed. I'm still the same dude from Clayco. 
I'm the same dude from Georgia. I'm the same dude from the Navy. I'm the same dude who do HVAC. Nothing has changed. So pretty much what I was getting at was you got two choices. You can go on the job. Matter of fact, let me explain on the job. On the job would pretty much mean that instead of you going to school, you would use your services at a business first as opposed to going to school. You would take your hands-on training and go out here and make money from day one as an apprentice. So you would start off as an apprenticeship, you would do on-the-job training, and you would learn hands-on from a licensed HVAC technician or someone who has been in the industry for over 10 plus years. Nice HVAC, we dedicate our time, I dedicate my life to making sure that you guys learn everything that you need to know to pass your license. Alright, but so yeah, when I went to school, I was looking at different schools, I was trying to see what what school fit me best, like Tuesdays and Thursday classes, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, night classes, morning classes, you know, you have to make your schedule, and you still have to work. If you go to school now, unless you're a veteran and you get paid to go to school, I'll talk about that later in another video, I'll let, I got a special package for my veterans. But if you don't have a veterans package or you have to pay for school, you have to make payments. So don't think school is free. You just go to school and everything's going to be happy. You get all your money and everything in life's great. No, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> go to school, do your homework, stay in class, make sure you learn, take advantage of it. If you're paying for it, learn. You know what I'm saying? Most people don't want to learn. You got to put in that work. Learn it. School was a great experience. I got to network with different technicians, other people that graduated with me, whether they're in the field or not. They know a little something about HVAC and it can start a conversation, it can spark a conversation. And I don't know who doesn't know somebody who doesn't need their air work done. You tell me who doesn't need their air work done. And matter of fact, I bet you all the money in my pocket. <laughs> I ain't even gonna show you. I bet you all the money in my pocket that one day your air is going to need some fixing. I can guarantee that. Unless you moving from new house to new condo to new to new uh, villa in Mexico. Hey, I can't. I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. You're going to need that air fix. And, hey, you can call your people at Nice HVAC. We're going to take care of you. You want to learn. You want to make six figures. You want to be great. You want to make your mom smile. You want to make your friends proud. You want to walk in somebody's house and be the coolest guy in the room? Man, let's go. Nice HVAC, man. Let's get it. Okay, so basically you got two options. You got plan A, which is an apprenticeship where you learn hands-on. You touch the equipment. You touch the refrigerant. You see a technician do it. You ask questions. You're there. You pull up. You... You have on your uniform, you're working, you're an apprentice. That is plan A. Plan B is school. You can go to a trade school or your local trade school. Most of the colleges online, they offer programs. Look, type in the HVAC program near me and you'll see a list of colleges and trade schools that offer HVAC and refrigeration programs. So you have to choose whether you're, what type of person you are. Are you hands-on or you like book work? Book work will teach you the basics and the necessities. Hands-on will teach you everything as far as installing and everything that you need to know to start working from day one. So it's either or. Choose your choose your fate. You can also choose to work with us at Nice HVAC. We help out new technicians every time. Here at Nice HVAC, we help out new technicians learn how to get off the couch and get your license and start working the HVAC on your own for other contractors or even a few years down the line for yourself. Hey, nice HVAC, we taking over. Get that license. I'm waiting on you. That six figures waiting on you. Let's go.